dance crazy. People say that they're just a fad, and when one dies out, another one just pops up in its place a few months later. But what happens when the dancing can't stop? A simple movement of the body slowly takes over one's life. I mean, it all started in middle school. It happened so fast, really. I mean, one day we went from wearing double X XL t-shirts, cranking that soldier boy. Next day it was skinny jeans and doing a jerk. During those three years, we thought jerky would never die. It did for most people, but not for me. Not only because we put those awful jerking videos on YouTube, but because my left testicle actually won't descend as a result of these skinny jeans. An addiction that some carry with them for the rest of their lives. I started crip walking after I saw the movie Menace to Society. Uh, before then, I didn't even know what gang culture in California was. I'm actually in the process of submitting my own application for the Crip Gang in my community. And I know what you're thinking too. What's a white guy doing Crip walking? But don't worry, the brothers love it. Whenever I go into a party, I always hear the black people say, whose mans is this? <laughs> That's because they really want to know who I am. An addiction that some are genetically predisposed to. Cuando yo estaba en el college y fui a ver por primera vez Fiebre de Sábado a la Noche con John Travolta, no pude imaginar que era el baile de mi vida. No podía parar, no podía parar. Es más, había comprado mi casa y todas las cuotas que tenía, toda la plata que tenía que pagar las cuotas de mi casa, me las gastaba en ir a ver los shows de baile disco. Era, era toda mi vida giraba alrededor de disco. Duró un tiempo. Un tiempo largo estuve sin bailar, bastante tiempo, hasta que después tuve una recaída. Otra vez tuve que danzar, no pude parar de danzar. Yo estaba embarazada, así, de mi hijo. Fui a un casamiento y ¿qué pasó? Bailé con Donna Summer. No sabía que eso le iba a provocar a, mí, a mi bebé la adicción al baile de moda. No lo sabía, juro que no lo sabía, si no, no más, no más disco, pero era terrible, era terrible, era terrible. No podía parar, hijo, no podía parar. Yeah, my name's, uh, my name's George. I was born with a fetal dance fad syndrome and uh, I've, uh, I haven't stopped dabbing since 2015. I, uh, yeah, I, I dab around... Uh, 400 and 500 times a day and uh, it, it started with a uh, with Gundam style back in 2011 or something and you know before that it was a cha-cha slide and uh, yeah. relax, relax. I just I keep dabbing every day and it I can't live my life I just I need help we need help follow us on a journey of recovery. Your testicle is showing some signs of improvement. Congratulations, Mr. Ramos. Full testicular descent may very well be in your near future. Follow us on a journey of revelation. <laughs> no, get no, get no, no, get up. You want to be crip so bad? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Crip walk right now. <laughs> Look at that. Follow us on a journey of relapse. Conquito. I can't. I can't stop. Help me. Join us this fall on the STK Network for an exclusive seven-part series hosted by renowned psychologist Dr. Dan Stanley following the rehabilitation of four everyday people who fell into the harsh reality of dance fat addiction. Tune in to Dance Dance Rehabilitation, series premiere this Wednesday at 9, 8 central.